Your attention is required. Cue the dun 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 thing. Yeah, I'm back with another one of the letters. And I don't recall seeing this one, which is rare for me. I'm sure I have in the past, but I haven't seen it for a while if I have seen it before. Big red bar at the top. Your attention is required. Yeah, it's an, I don't recall seeing it any time recently. So let's have a look at it together because maybe you've received this letter. Maybe this one's doing the rounds and you're a bit concerned by it because it's another one of those ones that are sent out to scare you. So if you've received this because you're not paying your TV license fee, either because you can't afford to do it or it's a political statement against the BBC or you just don't watch anything that requires you to have a television license, which we'll talk about a bit more as we get through this. I'll break this down for you. I'll let you know everything you need to know about it. Let's have a look. Dear Sir Slash Madam, Despite having written to this address previously, our database shows that your address is still not covered by a TV license. That means it's against the law for anyone to watch or record live TV programs on any channel or download or watch BBC programs on iPlayer at this address. This applies to any device you may use. All right, actually, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I mean, I don't like the fact that they've put, despite having written to this address previously, like you owe them a reply. How, I don't owe you nothing. I don't want anything to do with your business. I don't owe you anything. There's no legislation that says I must reply to your letters. Stop demanding I reply to your letters. You don't deserve a reply. If I want a reply, I will, but you don't deserve one. So I don't like that part. Our database shows that your address is not covered by a TV license. That's because the person who received this letter doesn't require a television license. And they just didn't tell you because they don't have to tell you they don't require a television license. But the next piece, fair dues, isn't it? That means it's against the law for anyone to watch or record live TV programs any channel. Time. Fair dues. Not overly scary. I don't like some of it, but I've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse. So, yeah, maybe this isn't one of the scariest of them all. Act now to avoid further investigation. Ah, oh, no, there it is. There it is. There's the scary. I know it wouldn't take long. It doesn't take them long, doesn't it? You need to do one of the following. Buy a license or move your license. Really? I need to do one of the following. There's no other options in this, according to TV licensing. You don't have a television license. You must need one. We're assuming you must need one. Everybody needs a telly license. You must, must, must have one. So here's one of the two things you can do. Buy a license or move a license if you just moved house. What if I don't need a license? Where's my option for that? These can't be my only two options in the entire world. I don't need a license. Absolutely ridiculous. You don't have to do any of the following. You don't, if you don't require a license, if you don't watch or record anything that's being broadcast or access BBC iPlayer, you do not require a television license, even if you own tellies, even if you own phones, computers, tablets, whatever, you do not require one unless you watch or record stuff as it's being broadcast or use iPlayer. None say it did say that there, but now they're saying we can only do one of the following. Make your mind up. What is it? Move your TV license. Yeah, you may have got this because you moved to a new address and you forgot to move your telly license. I understand why that's there, but there should be an option there. Should be another one saying, tell us you don't need a license. Because that is a thing you can do. You can tell TV licensing you don't require a television license, doing a no license needed declaration. And that will cut down on most of these bad letters for two years. You have to renew it every two. For some reason, Amazon, I don't have to tell every two years I don't require their services. But TV licensing, you do. You do have to tell them you don't require their services every two years. But that's not going to stop you possibly getting a visit from one of their goons, their door-to-door -door salesman. In fact, in my mind, I can't back it up with any evidence, but in my mind, I feel it guarantees you a visit because they seem to think that one in eight people who say they don't need a license, who tell TV licensing they don't need a license, actually does. So we need to send someone out just to make sure everything's straight and we you definitely don't need one. I think if you make contact with them and do the no license needed declaration, I think you're guaranteeing yourself a visit. Well, I haven't told them. I, d I haven't done the declaration for many years now. Many I did do it, but I haven't done it for many years and I haven't had a visit. I get quite a lot of letters but I haven't had a visit. But when I used to do the declaration, I did get visits. I've had two visits, the two times I filled in the declaration. I, that's, I can't back out of any evidence, but in my mind, that's it. Because they don't know anyone's at this address, right? It says, to the legal occupier, to an address. For all they know, the address could be empty. So, 
If you're in a small town or something where there's not many license-free people, are they going to send a goon out? Is he going to waste his fuel and half of his day when he earns commission to come and knock on your door? Whereas if you've made contact with them, if you've told them you don't require a license, they've got your name, your address, they know you're there, they know there's someone in their house who doesn't have a telly license, and it's basically an invite to come round, isn't it? So I don't like doing the low license needed declaration anymore, but you can. It is a thing you can do. It's just not one I do anymore. If a TV license isn't needed at this address or the property is currently unoccupied, please let us know. If it's unoccupied, how are we going to let you know? Because no one got the letter. The place is unoccupied. But yeah, it does say there, to be fair, but it should be in the red box, right? If a TV license isn't needed at this address, it should be in the one of the following. They're the only options you gave me for doing. Now you're saying I've got two other options. It's ridiculous how they get away with how they write these letters. Don't risk prosecution and a fine. As long as this property remains unlicensed, our investigation will continue, scary stuff. If you fail to get in touch, like we have to get in touch, we don't have to get in touch, you risk prosecution and a fine of up to £1,000 plus any legal costs and or compensation, blah, blah, blah. There is a 99% conviction rate for license fee evasion cases determined by the courts. That's new. I haven't seen that on one of the letters before. I haven't seen that. Let's break this bit down because I haven't seen that bit on one of the letters before. So, as long as this property remains unlicensed, our investigation will continue. Scary stuff, right? They're investigating my property. How's their investigation going? Right. So, it's addressed to the legal occupier and they're addressing you as dear sir, madam. Excellent. Excellent work. I'd never fail to be amazed at the investigative powers of TV licensing. They haven't even gone to the trouble to find out this person's name. But their investigation will continue and maybe one day we'll find out your name. Absolutely ridiculous. Don't be scared by their investigation. All they can do, the only investigation they can do, is to send somebody to your house. To knock on your door and ask you if you watch telly. That's it. That's all they can do. And don't be scared by the fact they call themselves enforcement officers. They're door-to-door -door salesmen. They earn commission. They're incentivized to sell you a license. That's why they've come to your house, is to earn their commission. That's what they're there to do. And if you get one, whether you're playing a straight game like me, where you genuinely don't watch anything as it's being broadcast to use iPlayer, or you're being a bit dodgy, which I never condone, there's only one way they would know. And that's if you tell them when they knock on your door. So never, ever talk to them. They'll ask to come in if you talk to them and they want to look at your equipment, not a euphemism. Why? You don't need to know anything about my property, mate. Go away. But don't say that to them. So if you, you open the door, say, all right, who are you? Hi, I'm from TV licensing. I'm, 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 cut them off. No, thanks, mate. Close the door. No more interaction than that, please. No good will come of it. They will ask you to sign something. Do not sign it because you don't know what that bit of paper says or what they can fill in after the fact once they've got your signature on it. Why would you sign it? Do not talk to them. Don't let them in. Close the door. Say no, thank you. Investigation over. That's all they can do. There's no such thing as a detector van. They can't do anything else. That is their entire investigation. And you've just knackered it for them by saying, no, thanks, mate, as is your right to do, and closing the door. That's it. Investigation over. That's it. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe they won't. But you remember, these people earn commission. So if they know you're clued up and you're not going to be intimidated by their tactics, well, why would they bother coming back? If it's a slow day and they got somewhat, they're viewing some other people or knocking on some other doors in the, in your local area, maybe they'll give you another go in time and they'll get the door closed in their face again. Won't they? There's nothing they can do. And it says here, you risk prosecution and a fine of up to £1,000 plus any... Yeah, the maximum fine is £1,000. The only way you could get it is if you talk to them. There is no other way. And that's the maximum fine. The average fine, 150, 160 quid, it's in that area. There is a 99% conviction rate for license fee. Yeah, I haven't seen that on a letter before. Eh, do I believe it? I don't know. I don't know. But the only way you could get into trouble is if you talk to them when they knock on your door. There is no other way. You don't talk to them. No trouble can come. Yeah, I know there's talk about getting warrants and stuff around. And the Black Belt Barris has talked about it. And it's going around. And I get loads of comments about the warrants. They're incredibly rare. Think how many households there are in the UK. There's about 100 TV license warrants issued. It's nothing to be scared about. If you want to know more about the warrants, have a look in links down below. 
tvlicenseresistance.info slash forum. You'll see the link down below. Go over there and have a look and they'll tell you all about it. There's loads of threads on it and these people know more about the legal side of it than I know. I just make videos. I'm not an expert. They've been through it all. Go over there and have a look. But don't be scared. Don't be scared by it. They can't come in without a warrant and a warrant is exceedingly rare. And to get one, they need some kind of evidence anyway. And if you haven't talked to them, where's the evidence to get it? So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. It's not the scariest of letters, but it is confusing and a bit contradictory, isn't it? But let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you've got any letters through and you think I haven't talked about them, have a look at the playlist for letters just to make sure I haven't. I haven't, send it over, links below, send it over, and I can talk about it and help some more people with some more of the letters. Eh? And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da!